Hi everyone, CNX Soft here. I'm going to show a demo about end computing RX300 thin, thin client based on Raspberry Pi 3. I've already done a teardown, you can see it in the post in the link in the description. And for this demo, I connected HDMI, power, Ethernet, but you could also use Wi Fi a USB mouse and keyboard. The company also sent me um, a USB to VGA for dual display setup but I could not make it work. So let's start the box. Okay so after you start the RX300 you should get to this login screen maybe within 20 seconds and this one is vSpace client but you also need to uh, set up a server and you have two ways either you, you set it up in your own uh, servers in which case uh, they will be auto detected in the list here or you ask the company to manage them or you, uh, you manage them yourself remotely and that's what the company has done for me here with uh, Amazon service Amazon web service instance uh, based in Singapore and now I'm in the north of Thailand and I will, I will connect to that server in Singapore it's, it's been uh, added automatically to my machine, I didn't have to do anything and then I click connect it was done on the server side and then I click connect and I use login and password and I am in Windows so let's check what kind of hardware and Windows we are using so this is Windows Server 2016 64-bit version on the Intel Xeon E5 CPU with 4 GB RAM assigned to this virtual machine And if we check the storage, you can see the Windows Drive as 40 GB, but it can be anything. And I also connected my own USB drive to the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi slash and computing RX300, and it's detected in the Singapore server so I can access the files and for example copy uh, this should be a PDF document to my drive in Thailand just like if everything was done locally but obviously this is done over the internet so it takes a little longer than usual right. the company pre-installed a bunch of applications and I could install my own and if I disconnect uh, or restart the server everything is still there with my new programs and uh, my files all right. so I will try now to launch all those applications to see how fast they launch ok, and that's exactly like on my main PC good very good performance Okay. and you can see uh, uh, they install LibreOffice so I can do some Excel uh, spreadsheets PowerPoint
and word all right and of course I have the web browser so I can open multiple tabs do some scrolling this is a little slower than a local machine but I think it's perfectly usable let's try video pages and it's not too bad okay next is YouTube and I will play Big Bug Bunny at 1080p I will increase the volume on my TV so you can hear the video is playing fine this this is made possible thanks to Vcast streaming technology that's actually uh, an extra license and the first time they didn't enable the technology and the video in YouTube was barely watchable, very very slow but once they enable this uh, the video plays very well like uh, in a normal PC full screen for some reason the frame count mm -hmm. not really working but we can see it's 1080p Okay. I also run some benchmark, but it's a fast, uh, it's a fast machine, and a performance similar to my uh, AMD FX 8350. So uh, let's say you you would like to use a Raspberry Pi as a normal machine, uh, you can do so, and you can disconnect from the server. And here you have the setup icon, you can click on it. And now the vertical lights will become annoying, but okay. Here you have the scene client mode to do what we have done so far with uh, Windows or Raspbian desktop mode to run Linux. I go through the settings first. and you have some connection settings server groups where you can manage your servers chaos mode uh, if you want to put it somewhere for people to use with auto login and application auto start maybe you want to start chrome for people to access the web or nothing else okay So that's the display. So actually last time I connected the USB adapter, USB to VGA. And I can see two displays, but when I connect it to my uh, other monitor with VGA input, I get no output. So maybe it's just a compatibility issue but dual display is possible and then you have the audio output priority audio input priority and you can also select it at the top here networking you can select Ethernet or Wi-Fi I simply used Ethernet uh, support is for upgrade, uh, firmware upgrade 
with various options and about so the device models, firmware and network information. Alright, so let's go back to here. I will select Raspbian desktop mode, apply, OK. And then we have got the three Raspberry Pis logos. And we are in Linux. I will not go through this since it's just a normal Raspberry Pi experience. And next time if you want to turn it off and turn it on, it will go here by default. So if you want to go back to the Windows uh, mode, Thin Client mode, you just click on the icon and here switch to Thin Client. And next time you uh, it will reboot in Thin Client mode. Now it's just booting normally. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.